Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kristen and today is a new pin day. I'm so excited about this one. So let's open it up. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, we got stickers. I like these. They're pretty cute. Very nice. Okay, so today I am excited to share with you a Gold Spot Pins and Bennu Pins collaboration fountain pen. I saw a glimpse of this on Instagram and I just had to reach out to Gold Spot Pins and they were kind enough to send one to me for review. Let's, let's go ahead and open the box. We've got the pin, we've got a long international cartridge, and I believe there's also a converter that's included with the pin. Here is, oh, look at that. Look at that, I love the graphics on this thing. Wow, whoever did the illustrations, I, I really like this. I love the colors. Okay, warranty information. I'm gonna leave this here on top just for now. Put it off to the side. So let's take a first look at this Bennu. This is a Bennu Euphoria and the name of it is Hot Toddy. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. It's much more translucent than I thought it would be, but it looks really good. I love the shade of yellow. Do I have like a white background for you to... Let's get some paper right there. Take a look at this. This beautiful pen. Oh, I like that shade of yellow. Okay, so this is the Bennu Euphoria Hot Toddy. It is a Gold Spot Pens exclusive fountain pen. And their bio for this fountain pen is as follows. Embrace the warmth and spice of a classic hot toddy remixed as a spirited fountain pen. The Zesty Bennu Euphoria and Gold Spot Pens collaboration pen has a bright and cheery lemon yellow transparent body and cap with a seasoning of sparkly glitter. This hot toddy has the cure for what ails you. If you'd like a matching, comforting beverage to go along with your writing experience, each pen includes a recipe for a Bennu hot toddy with a non-alcoholic option as well. And I just, I love the way that they did this little recipe card. I love the graphics on here and they've got the instructions down at the bottom, everything that you need to make your own little hot toddy. But this is, this is nice. Oh, I love that. The end of the pen is just that solid yellow resin at the very end. And so it's like that, that concentrated pop of yellow there. But, oh, oh this makes me happy. It says Bennu right there on the band. It's silver, just like the clip and just like the nib. I have a fine nib on this fountain pen. This is a Schmidt nib. I actually thought it was gonna be a little bit more yellow, a little less smoky, but I kind of like the smokiness in this thing. I wonder, because I'm seeing the shimmer or the glitter in certain parts, they're concentrated a little bit more in certain parts of this more transparent area here. And it looks almost like there is a, a smoky quality in this part of the pen. So I guess this is the part where, this is the part that represents the steam rising from your beverage. And this yellow, the golden parts, are reminiscent of the lemon and the honey. And uh, if you have cinnamon or other spices that you add to, your hot toddy. I love how it's represented in these thicker, larger glitter pieces, as well as the more concentrated yellow in the cap and in the body of the pen. And look at that shimmery section. Oh, so nice. Oh, that's so nice. I am so excited about this. Let me test it. It's got a fine nib. Just do a little bit of dry writing. Let me not try it on the Midori paper. <laughs> that's a little bit too much feedback. Okay, it's feeling good. I think I need to ink this up to really better understand how it's gonna feel when I'm writing with it. But so far, there's nothing concerning about the nib. Let's take a look at this Bennu Euphoria next to all of my other Bennu fountain pens. Okay, so here we have the Bennu Talisman in True Unicorn. Here's the Bennu Euphoria in Pink Champagne. We've got the Bennu Euphoria in Hot Toddy and the Bennu Euphoria in Earl Grey. I really do enjoy the size and the, the feel of the Bennu Talisman so much that I actually did not think that the Bennu Euphoria would be a good size for me. 
But after trying it at the San Francisco Pin Show, I actually love the sizes of both of these pin models. So now I've got <laughs> three Bennu Euphoria fountain pins and one Bennu Talisman. Something that I didn't anticipate happening, but I really do enjoy the look and the feel of all four of these fountain pens. I like the cool colors, but I also have a balance of the warmer colors as well. So this Earl Grey and this Hot Toddy, I love my, my warm beverages, I guess. Before I get to selecting an ink for this fountain pen, I want to put it next to all of my other yellow fountain pens because I, I love, I love, I love yellow fountain pens. I have a, quite a collection right now. <laughs> Just like I have quite a collection of aqua blue or aqua green fountain pens, I've got some yellow ones as well. So here we have the Bennu Euphoria. Here is my Esterbrook SD Mimosa, my Esterbrook SD in Tortoise. Here's a Franklin Christoph Model 3 in the Lemon Yellow and Amber Swirl. My Quebeco Classic Sport in the Champagne Gold. This was a Colt Pins exclusive, I believe. This is my Lamy Safari Mango. My Sailor 1911 Large, A Pirate's Life. It's a deep yellow. And here is my Pilot Decimo or Pilot Vanishing Point Decimo in Harvest Yellow. So this is my collection of yellow fountain pens. I really, really love the, the warm yellows. And I think this Bennu Euphoria Hot Toddy fits right in with the warm yellows that, that I really enjoy. Let's take a look at some size comparisons. I guess since I already have a Lamy Safari next to it, I'll leave the Esterbrook SE out. I've got this Lamy Safari and a Sailor 1911 Large. And I'll bring out the Bennu Talisman just so you can have a better sense of scale between these two fountain pen models. So let's take a look at these fountain pens uncapped. I'll bring this back out so that they won't roll away on me. Here we are with a size comparison. Of course, the Bennu Euphoria is the tallest of them all. And I would not post that one. I actually wouldn't post any of these except the Sailor 1911 Large. I just love the look and feel of my Sailor pins whenever I post them. So that is definitely longer when it is posted. This is really nice, very comfortable, very light, much lighter than the Sailor 1911 Large. So now that I'm done with the size comparisons, I would love to select a fountain pen ink that would go well with this Hot Toddy fountain pen. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pinonia Amarillo Antiguo is really, really nice. It's so yellow to go with such a yellow fountain pen. Encre de Birmanie is really nice. This is nice as well. Sailor 50 States Utah, but it's a bit too orange for what I would like to have with this fountain pen. I want something that's a little bit more golden, a little bit more yellow, I guess, if I go for something on the lighter side of things. Mm, Lila Te is nice. Oh, smells like coffee would be interesting. Inaho, maybe, but it's a bit greener than I would prefer. I don't think that I would want to, I, well, I don't know. I was going to say I don't think that I want a green ink in this pen, but Birmingham Pen Company Lichen looks really nice, especially with the green tint to some of these glitter particles. It looks really nice next to Birmingham Pen Company Lichen. Mad Hatter is pretty cool. Vert Empire by Jacobin is a nice one as well. I am really liking how this yellow looks next to these deep murky green inks. Not bad, but I would not prefer those. I think I kind of like these greens over the bluish green inks. Sabi Midori, probably. That's cool to have like a red ink, a reddish brown ink in this yellow pen. That that looks like a really nice option as well. So I like the look of Benitsuchi by Tasia. I also like Tsuchi. I think I like Tsuchi more than Benitsuchi. So Tsuchi is nice. So is Birmingham Pen Company Lichen. I am really drawn to this ink color. I'm drawn to the yellow. I'm also drawn to the brown. What would you select if you were to do a hot toddy ink antique yellow lichen or a tea green type color? Or would you go brown? I think I might go green or yellow. The yellow is gorgeous, but the yellow makes me nervous. Yeah, it's really yellow. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's, it's so yellow. I don't think I would go for like just striking yellow like this because I would really want to enjoy the writing, the reading and writing experience. So I would not go for Amarillo Antiguo as it is, even though it is, it looks like a perfect match. I think I'm going to go for Birmingham Pen Company Lichen. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got this pin inked up now with Birmingham Pen Company Lichen. So this is the really nice. Oh, oh, I love the pairing. I'm so happy with this pairing. I'm I'm glad. I'm so glad. Oh, this looks good. This looks really, really good. Oh, it reminds me of the Sailor 2024 Pen Show ink. I wonder how similar that is to the Sailor ink. Oh, now I want to check it out. But I'm so glad that I have Birmingham Pen Company Lichen in my collection because it is a beautiful match with this Hot Toddy Fountain Pen. I love the golden swirls. I love the golden greenish rainbow glitter particles in the pen. I love how it looks like smoky right here, just representative of the hot beverage. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but this just, it looks really nice. It is very subtle, but it adds just enough interest. And I love how it matches with the theme of the fountain pen, this hot toddy. And oh, I really do like the style of this art. I didn't know that there was such a thing as edible glitter, but of course, if you're gonna have a Bennu hot toddy, you might as well have a Bennu inspired hot toddy. I love the highly saturated finials on this pen, how they left it solid on the end of the barrel and the end of the cap. I just love that right there. It's, it's so nice. I am very happy with this fountain pen and I am so glad that I was able to get one of these by Gold Spot Pens. If you are interested in purchasing this fountain pen, which I do highly recommend, I am a big fan of Bennu Euphoria fountain pens and I'm a big fan of Gold Spot Pens. This pen is going to be launching on the Gold Spot website on on October 17th at the price of $157 and I will make sure to provide a link in the description box so you can just click that link it's not an affiliate link so I won't get any kickback on it visit that link and get to the product immediately on October 17th 2024 so special thanks to gold spot pens for sending me this fountain pen I really do love this fountain pen already it looks good it feels good it writes really well and I love how it matches with this greenish murky Birmingham Pen Company Lichen ink. So it's going to have a good home in my collection. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.